All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachach Hodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is a, a video I just caught when to a few minutes ago. And, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, Bible prophecy, man. Hey, these Edomites, their uh, gradualism is the word, you know, and the tactic that they're using to bring forth this uh, RFID microchip, all right, to be embedded and sigil up under your skin, which the Bible calls the mark of the beast. Now, there's a new thing out that they're doing, and it's called contact track tracking. <laughs> contact tracking. So I'm going to let this guy speak on it, and I'm going to show you the videos in which the guy to your left, Burner, um, he basically posts, uh, you know, he posts up on his uh, IG or whatever. So uh, uh, without further ado, here we go. Um, because they come from the mainstream media, and I don't want to get flagged for copyright. But in these clips, and this isn't the only ones that are on um the internet you can find them you can just google the word or the words contact tracing and you'll get all the info you need basically what they're trying to push right now what i saw the world health organization pushing heavy is this idea of contact tracing so let's say for instance you got sick they would then um they being the government would step in and and try to determine everybody that you came in contact with through cell phone records um things like this they would want to trace down anybody that you potentially came in contact with who you may have then passed the virus on to they're saying this is all in the name of safety which is absolutely unbelievable and just completely mind-blowing that this is where we're at. But this is what it is. So, Burner is on Instagram. You're going to have to go watch these clips for yourself. Go check out his Instagram. I'll let you see a couple seconds of this one. Let's check it out. Trying to track down all of these people who a person's been in contact with that is resource-intense, that takes time. You know, a person who's been infected, they'll give you some names they've been in touch with, but it can also be, hey, I was with some people on a subway. I have no idea who they were. Contact tracers, right? Okay, so they're trying to come up with this whole idea of how to trace everybody who somebody has been in contact with. And then once they figure out you have been in contact with somebody who's sick, then they want to quarantine you. They want to test you. They want to basically um, make sure in the name of health and safety that you're not sick. I mean, this shit is crazy. So burner, he says, okay, social distancing. We accepted and understood why that could help the spread of a virus. Quarantine became a word we will never forget. Shelter in place caused a lot of conspiracies. Um, stopped the average American from working. We took it serious and we stayed home. Why? Because we believed in what we were being told and wanted to flatten the curve. And again, prevent the spread of the virus. But this new term... Contact tracing is not acceptable or necessary. We are putting a QR code or chip in our skin. We are not okay with cameras that use fac facial recognition to track everything we do. They're going to start pushing this new term, contact tracing, hard on the media. They're going to try to normalize the term, then roll it out. This shit is not okay. Seems like a lot of agendas people were worried about are starting to come to light. Now they are saying we will not be back to normal till 2022 and um, we'll all be vaccinated. We better pay attention to these next steps, you guys. Fear. They are using fear tactics to push a lot of this bullshit through. Will you put a chip in your body? Will you put a QR code in your skin? Will you stay inside till 2022? Will you take this vaccine? Again, I, this is so important and nobody out there is talking about this. I see a lot of people talking about important issues, um, you know, related to this whole situation. But this is, in my opinion, 
probably the most important contact tracing. This is exactly what they're planning. So, um, I don't, people out there really need to. All right. So, you know, as he, uh, read it and, uh, you know, uh, basically gave you a rundown what it is, you know, I want to play the video that he's talking about here on a burner 415. All right. And, um, you know, all this is, is gradualism. This is their way of introducing a new way, you know, and, uh, how to do things, you know, a lot of scanning, a lot of, uh, basically they want to turn you into an ID, you know, now it is a must to look into this even more to see what the contact tracing tattoo, or is it something inserted or whatever to get into it. But I just wanted to, uh, put this together and put it up for brothers. You know, it's the new shit. So anyway, let's play this video. QR code, temperatures taken before they get on a train or building. How might that work in a country like ours? How soon could it be put to work in a country like ours? Steve Kornacki crunches numbers for a living and is with us to explain. And Brian, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. So uh, opens your mind. Resources. Think about it. A contact tracer trying to track down all of these people who a person's been in contact with. That is resource intense. That takes time. You know, a person who's been infected, they'll give you some names they've been in touch with, but it could also be, hey, I was with some people on a subway. I have no idea who they were. Contact tracers got to help try to figure that out. And of course, private privacy concerns here too. There are all sorts of tools of technology that can be used to help in this GPS uh, tracking, surveillance cameras, that sort of thing. How much are we comfortable with, though, actually being used for a, a tracking program, a contact tracing program? Steve Kornacki, it's so interesting how protective that six-foot barrier is that for contact tracing, you rule out everyone who you kept a safe distance from, and you only rule in the people that broke that sort of six-foot moat around you. It's fascinating. Resources. Think about it. Hey, so there you go, man. Contact tracing. Now, I just want to grab a quick preset. You know, Esau is determined. You know, he's determined, man. He got them think tanks and and um he's he's striving hard. You know, the scriptures say Revelation twelve and twelve, he cometh down having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. You know, eventually he's gonna he's gonna uh forcefully force his agenda and his way, his uh new way of how to pay, buy and sell, he's gonna push it upon you. He's gonna force this mark upon you, which really eventually it would be the mark of the beast. All right. I just wanted to read this real quick, you know, uh, Isaiah 32 and 5. The veiled person shall speak no more called liberal, nor the chul said to the bountiful. For the veiled person will speak villainly, and in his heart will work iniquity, to practice hypocrisy, and to utter error against the Lord Yahweh, to make empty the souls of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. The instruments also of the chul are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor, with lying words, even when the native speaketh right. But the liberal deviseth liberal things, and by liberal things shall he stand. All right, so, you know, you can see that on the news there, he was talking about, um, uh, you know, say, it was one of the concerns, privacy concerns and resources and things and all that. You know, it, it's not nothing good, all right? You're giving up all your privacy and so on. It's basically for Esau to achieve you know, his God's, his God's status, you know? So like that, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is gradualism. Esau is not going to stop because uh, this is Bible prophecy. So I hope this lesson was uh, edifying. I wanted to put this up there for brothers if brothers ain't seen it. Uh, it's called, uh, 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 what is it? What's this shit called? Oh, contact tracing. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.